so today we were invited to, to come down and have a look at the GridServe EV4 court in, in Braintree. I've seen a few people posting some photos of this, so I thought I'd do a little video just, uh, just showing everybody around and seeing what they've got. So this is one of the 350 kilowatt rapid chargers that they've got running down the, the centre of the forecourt. And what I really like about their, their implementation is there's no apps, there's no RFID cards. It's that contactless card reader there. So you plug your car in, tap your card or Apple Pay it or Google Pay and, and the charge starts straight away. Um, now on this side, these the only difference here really is that they're, they're 90 kilowatts as opposed to 350 kilowatts. Um, they've also got the, the Chadamo adapter there as well. Um, same price, 24p a kilowatt hour, just a little bit slower. Now these are hand sanitising stations and they've got those in between each charger um, all the way down and I've not seen that anywhere else actually which uh, in these, these COVID-19 times they're, they're popping up left right and centre but not at, uh, at charging stations um, so that was, that was quite impressive to see actually. So as we're approaching the, the main building now, there was, uh, there was quite a few cars there whilst, uh, whilst I was filming. Um, and there were the people popping in for, for a quick five minute charge, um, staying in the cars and, and off they went. Um, but the majority did go inside uh, because it's not something, as we all know, um, that, uh, that there is very often out there, apart from the odd ecotricity at uh, service stations. So these guys here, they were from ITV News and they were doing a little bit of filming there. Don't think I'm quite going to make it onto the news, but, uh, but we'll see. So heading over to the Tesla superchargers now. Um, these are, are the V3 superchargers, so they, uh, they produce up to 250 kilowatts. Uh, they're water cooled. Um, yeah, really, really cool chargers. Um, if you've got a Tesla vehicle, um, as you'll probably know, just pull up, uh, connect it in. Um, there's no apps, there's no cards, there's no readers. It just builds the, uh, the card that's on your, your Tesla account. So now we're heading towards the air and water station. Uh, this is pretty much the same as you'd, you'd find in any other forecourt. Um, but it's the only criticism actually that I've got of the uh, of the grid surf uh, setup is a pound for for a little bit of air. I think that's that's quite expensive, but we won't we won't hold that against them. Now, over here uh, we've got uh, there was quite a few 22 kilowatts uh, Type Two chargers. Um, and they're totally free as well, which was which was cool. So if you're going to spend a few hours here for for a bit of a break, uh, you can save yourself a few pounds and uh, limit the amount of of DC fast charging that uh, that you've got to do for the car. So heading into the main building now, we've got a hand sanitising station on the left again. Lovely COVID nineteen, and. The first thing that you uh, you see is a Costa coffee. Um, we did have coffee there, and it was really nice. Um, really impressed with it. Everybody was really friendly, which was lovely. Now here we've got uh, we've got some different food items um, and some toiletries. Um, it's quite nice to see. You don't normally see that uh, at service stations. We've got magazines across the back and some newspapers there. A lovely recharge your battery sign. Now just here we've got wines and some beers and a great selection actually. Not if you're driving, obviously. And around here we've got two lovely ladies at the post office. And I think you can have your, your parcels delivered there as that sign said. So that could be quite uh, quite useful. Now here we've got a number of different audio equipment um, and some Apple products there as well. But now as we're going up the stairs, I thought of a test of the Wi-Fi. Now as you can see, 274 meg down and 162 meg up. That's really quite impressive. Coming upstairs now, 
we've got a nice window so you can have a look out over the uh, over the forecourt and uh, and see the solar roof on there i uh, had a bit of a chat with uh, with the ceo and uh, he told me that so there's 200 kilowatts worth of worth of solar on there which, which is definitely not to be sniffed at so we're going over now into the uh, into the gym area um, we've got two bikes there which i'll tell you a little story about those in a minute we've got uh, two yoga mats um, with some uh, some yoga wheels on there so if you fancy getting your zen on then definitely uh, jump on those so the bikes the the amount of power that you generate whilst you're 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 cycling on them goes straight back into the grid so if you're charging your car you can helpfully say that you've actually charged it by doing a cycle which i think is quite cool so it's nice and, and light and airy uh, inside here i was i was pleasantly surprised actually toilets are upstairs um and then these screens here they show uh, different uh, electric vehicle options for from the leasing that uh, the grid surf do um quite easy to use yeah i was quite impressed with those um, there's a nice big screen there that shows different adverts actually and, and bits of information. We've got the Renault Zoe there um, to have a look around. They are all locked at the moment, but I presume that's because of COVID-19. Now in those containers uh, in the back there, those are all the uh, the battery storage um, for, 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 for GridServe. Um, and they tell me they've got a, a 10 megawatt uh, solar array that uh, that would charge those um, and obviously the 200 kilowatts that's um, that's on site so that table there that's an old v8 engine those uh, things from the past um, they've made it into a table which is uh, which is quite cool now over on the left hand side here uh, we've got some little office pods that you can rent and i believe they were 16 pounds an hour uh, don't quote me on that though um, and we've got a, a little table and seats there for, for laptops and, and whatnot a little kids area here where you can uh, they can have a play on some toys and probably my favorite saying in in the building our fuel spill is a sunny day and we like that that's quite cool so i hope you've enjoyed this little uh, little video um, and i shall catch you guys soon